This tutorial will show you how to do a document callout using Microsoft PowerPoint. A callout is a technique for emphasizing an excerpt of text from a source document. This callout is from William Blackstone's Commentaries of the Laws of England. Now, let's go through the process. So here we are with a, a blank slide. We're going to go and extract the source information from William Blackstone's Commentaries of the Laws of England. Uh, as you can see here, we're using a PDF document. So we have our PDF. We found the page. So now what we're doing is we're going to translate the page into an image file. We're not just going to copy and paste tests at this point. There's several ways to do it. One is with the snipping tool in Windows. Uh, there are some positives and negatives with the snipping tool. As you can see here, we can outline the page and extract an image of a page. But this requires some extra steps, including saving it out as an image and then bringing that image into PowerPoint. So we'll not do it this way for this particular uh, process. Another way to do it is to use a tool that's built into Adobe Reader, uh, which is under Tools, and Select and Zoom, and it's the Snapshot tool. This will basically be like a cut and paste into PowerPoint of an image. So with the Snapshot tool, you just highlight the whole page, go back into PowerPoint, Control V, paste it in. Uh, it's rather large, so you kind of have to manipulate it. You can move it down so you can grab a corner, and then you can just scale it to shrink it down to a size that's uh, better to work with. Uh, the great thing about working with PowerPoint is, is it's an extremely powerful graphics tutorial for developing multimedia communications. It can handle all sorts of media, and uh, as we move along, you'll see some of the power. So now that we've brought this uh, image file of the page, there's some things we can do. We add a picture border, this black picture border, and then a little bit of a shadow to make it seem more like a page that's kind of separated out from the uh, blank slide beneath it. Uh, then with a control and holding onto the mouse and you slide away and you can duplicate the image. So we created a stack real quickly. Uh, then you highlight the entire stack and you can maneuver it, uh, place it where you want. Here we're uh, looking at grouping it. Uh, you may want to do that, probably not yet, because we're going to slide out make another duplication. Again, that you hold control while you click on the mouse and slide away. Uh, so now we're going to crop this. This um, new duplication is going to be the cropping. You can be careful. Make sure you're grabbing the corners of the crop tool. Uh, as you can see there, for a moment we grabbed uh, where we were distorting the proportions. But you go ahead and get in, crop it down, crop it. It doesn't have to be exactly precise, but just get down to the area of the uh, text that you're trying to emphasize and call out. So once you apply the crop, then you can grow it. And now we're now we're working. You can kind of see everything taking shape. Uh, you go back into crop and you can polish it up. Uh, make sure you don't have any uh, lingering text elements anywhere and it's nice uniform. Uh, we're not done yet though. Uh, there's a couple of things we can do to enhance the image. Uh, so for example over here under format we have corrections. I like to uh, choose this uh, you know play around hover over some of the different options but this brightness contrast uh, on the lower left uh, really seems to make the uh, words pop away from the uh, paper. So there we go, we select that. And there was another element to this callout. Not only do we have a callout, but we had a highlight. So in order to make this highlight effect, you duplicate that uh, callout box. You go in there and under color you see you can make it bright yellow. Uh, then you can crop down just the text that you want to highlight. Um, there's some tricky uh, workarounds you have to do and able to make this work, especially when the highlight doesn't go through, cover the entire portion of a line, but only part of a portion. You'll see here this uh, quote uh, doesn't cover the word consideration. So we're going to have to go in and do a separate highlight element to cover that. And also you notice we went into the corrections, brightness, contrast to really make the black pop from the yellow and really look like a highlight effect. Now, when you duplicate the highlight portion to cover that consideration, you then can go back into crop and readjust the parameters. Uh, so we're just going to cover that word consideration. So what we have now is two highlight elements one for the top portion and one for that uh, lingering word. 
and we're going to group them together. Um, also, if you recall towards the beginning when we were laying out the page, we did some formatting, adding a black border and then some shadow, and those traits have carried over because we keep on duplicating and duplicating the source uh, to, to build our document callout. So you can always go back and go back into shadow and picture border and do no shadow, no picture border because it doesn't really make sense for the highlight portion of the callout. Um, then when we click both together and right click, we do what's called grouping. So therefore, the two uh, components of the highlight element can be combined and treated as one. All right, now it's really taking shape. We're ready to put on the animations. Uh, basically, for the text callout, uh, I like you know here the float in is pretty subtle. It's not too zany with too much flying around, but it gets the point across. Um, if you go into effect options, you can control uh, the direction from which uh, the animation is occurring. I like the float in to come down. Uh, this highlight is a wipe, um, you know, to kind of simulate the process of actually highlighting a document in real life. And I liked that wipe to come from left to right to kind of follow, you know, the natural way we would highlight words. So now we have it coming into effect. We can do a preview. Um, in the animation pane on the left, uh, I like to click it to uh, make sure that you have um, each animation is uh, triggered by the click of the mouse. Therefore, you can control it when each happens. So now we're ready to test this animation we've created. So what we'll do is we'll just put a new slide, place it in between before this new uh, this uh, new. We'll create a new slide. I like to put down just a placeholder slide so we can uh, have something when we go into slideshow mode. Uh, so we go, we go to the placeholder slide, go into slideshow, uh, click next, and there's our animation. If you click again, the uh, document callout effect happens. Click one more time, and there's the highlight. Well, there you go. That's a pretty basic document callout in PowerPoint. Uh, as we continue on, we'll explore some other ways that we can achieve a similar effect. With multimedia communication, there are often many ways to achieve the same goal. So it's important to explore and play with these tools uh, to find out what works best for you. Anyway, thank you very much. If you are also interested in art, check out my Redbubble site, selling my artwork and clothing collections.